it's conservation in some places can be regarded as a sort of esoteric thing. It's kind of we as middle class Westerners can go, it's important that we look after this thing or this rare fly or this whatever. Over here it's cutting edge. Over here the difference between getting it right and wrong is the difference between life and death for people. In 2012, I visited the Gambia in West Africa. It's an inspiring place where I met many inspiring people. One of them was our guide Mamadou. He showed us a small community forest near his home village of Kulero, a remnant of Guinea-Congo forest important for migratory European bird species and endangered mammals such as the western red colobus. These small remnants are vitally important if we're going to stop western red colobus not only going extinct in the Gambia, but that could be the last place where this species could survive on Earth. Visitors to the forest pay an entrance fee. 60% of the profits go back into the community, funding schools like this one. So that nursery school was already collapsed in a few years ago. A committee was organized from the natives of this village to keep the nursery school going. When I returned in 2013, I discovered donations had helped to pay for a fence to keep the cattle out of the forest. The result? Hippo was grazing for the first time in living memory. Every community have to look after, you know, the, the habitat you are with, you know, because the, they cannot look after all these mangrove habitats for us. So any, any community have to look after the area you are in order to make it, you know, more important. So what next? The forest needs to grow, providing more habitat for wildlife, jobs and more income locally. But it would mean relocating these community gardens. And this is only fair and possible if we first build a borehole to provide a reliable source of water. It will increase the future of the forest. The bigger the forest, the, you know, the longer the future will be. And it will create more, more visitors you know, you know, for the forest as well. The bigger the area, more visitors will come to as well. Yeah? Farasutu Forest, 60% of the income goes to the village. It provides clean water, it provides electricity, it provides facilities, it provides teachers to give people opportunities in their life. So by having an eco-resource here, you're radically changing people's lives. Um, so not only are we looking after the rare species, but we're looking after the communities to whom those species belong effectively.